Christmas is around the corner and if you're anything like me, you're super duper excited and you're already thinking of gift ideas for your precious little ones. In today's video, I'm going to show you some of the toys that my kids use and love and hopefully they inspire you for some Christmas gift ideas. Alright, so first up we have art and craft supplies, which if your kids are into a lot of creativity stuff drawing painting coloring then a basket with some art supplies would be a great idea most kids three four and five they love coloring painting so this would be a gift idea for anybody first off we have some writing tablets i have two of them because i try to avoid fighting whenever i can this one was the first one i got the pen attaches to the side you write on the tablet you press a button and it disappears. This is actually a great item for traveling if you're in the car and you want to occupy them and you're at church, you want to occupy them but you don't want to bring paper and crayons and pens and whatnot. This is very portable, very easy to use and the kids enjoy it. My girls use this a lot. I Like I said, I have two simply so that they can each have one without fighting over it the second one is a bit smaller i enjoy the screen of the first one a bit more i think it's more vibrant but they both do the same thing they both seem like similar quality to me next up we have another favorite and you can tell that it is well used because it's in a horrible condition but we have these water wow books so the set that i bought they came in a set of three the third one, like I said, well used. It's missing. I really don't know where the rest of this one is. So the way it works is that you color with water. When it dries, the color is removed and then you can paint it all over again. So it comes with this little brush here. You put water inside of here and the water comes out through the bristles these occupy my girls for a very long time even the younger one she's only a year and three months old but she's able to paint um with this it's big so the grip is fine and they really enjoy this book like i said it is on its dying bed but it's because it's well used and they really enjoy this one of the other things that you can do if your child really enjoys painting and art and that kind of thing would be like a basket you could probably get a nice cute basket and include a lot of paint and supplies so for example i have a canvas here i have I don't know the name of this thing to put the paint on a wide array of brushes i have paint here if you're looking for a gift idea you can easily include these in a little basket as well as pencil crayons crayons pens colored pens and i feel like this would be a great gift especially for a child who enjoys art and anything of that sort so something else that you can include in the arts and crafts set are dot markers. I love these. They are markers, but they are in the shape of a dot. So when you play with them, they come with a set of cards. This one is about emotions, if I'm not mistaken. Emotions, so silly, scared. And it has the circles, which is the size of the the dot markers so this is really good for hand-eye coordination so they're able to fit the marker into the dot and it also comes with a page at the front where you can go to get more printables so these are really great my daughter enjoys them she loves them they're a, a great gift idea and also in the art and craft set you could also include paints like i was saying next i have this beautiful set this was gifted to me by a friend for the kids. It's not for their age range. My kids are one and two. I believe this says it's for, it's not for kids three and under because of the small parts, but my kids use them. None the same, probably not for the purpose that it's intended for, but they do have a lot of fun with some of these toys. So for example, those that deal with fractions, I have not opened them. I'm waiting for them to be able to use them. Probably gonna take a couple of years, but I'm waiting for them to be in a in a place where they can use them and then I will open them. But those I have opened, the kids use and enjoy them very well. So I have this one here, the pegs, 
have numbers so what my daughter does with this first we use them a lot for color recognition so now she knows the colors we also use them to match so she's able to match the color here as well as the peg here and it's also great for fine motor skills to help them develop placing the peg into the little stick here of course well used and well loved it's missing the last peg here because it was stepped on or something so you will notice a trend in this video most of the toys that i have they're mostly open-ended toys or educational toys i think that play is the work of the child a famous quote by maria montessori playing is a way that the children develop creativity imagination and that's how they learn so i like toys that will encourage that and i don't typically go for electronic toys where they just press a button and it's music and they're entertained as opposed to having their creativity developed so you will find a certain theme they're usually educational or open-ended toys where they can play but it also helps them with their fine motor skills gross motor skills or something educational that's going to help them grow and learn next we have this melissa and doug toy it is a set of five Farm animals it is light sensitive so the battery is weak here <laughs> I've had this for a very long time the battery needs to be replaced and my first daughter used it but now my second daughter is well into it so it has a lot of common animals whenever you place the puzzle piece over the missing part of the puzzle then it makes the sound of the animal this is a great toy i cannot recommend it enough my daughters used it very well to learn how to identify some of the animals as well as the sound of the animals at first when she just got it it was a matter of matching it so she would just be able to match the puzzle piece with where it belonged and she had difficulty fitting it into the space that it went into pretty soon she developed some more fine motor skills and she was able to place them and then soon it became being able to see the sound of these animals so right now my youngest daughter is using this it's a well-loved toy i would recommend it it's also very affordable next we have connect four also a very affordable toy this toy we did not buy it so that they can play connect four in fact it was a game that my husband and i had for ourselves so whenever we have game night however they love placing the pegs in here and what i found is that it's a very good skill to develop fine motor skills as well placing this peg into the slit here is actually very challenging for them when they're younger so this was very helpful in developing some of those skills when my daughter got older she's now sorting them so she sorts the yellow from the red ones but this was an unexpected toy that really um they have enjoyed and when they get older it can also grow with them when they're able to learn how to play connect four so if you're looking for an inexpensive gift this would also make a great idea even if your child is only two years old all right so next um i would say the next category would be musical instruments we actually don't have that many which is kind of sad i wish we did have and i would probably be adding more to them but what we have is a xylophone it's wooden it's nice and strong we've had this for a very long time my first daughter used it and now my second daughter uses it it also comes with a small little booklet that has you know the beats that you can play to do little nursery rhymes like row, row, row your boat rain rain go away again my toys are well used and well loved so this is what's left of it there are supposed to be two or three other pages but i don't know where they are you can play them and eventually the child as they get older they can learn to match the melody and learn to play it even if they cannot read music also this toy comes in surprisingly very handy for colors so i will tell my oldest daughter to hit the red one or hit the green one or hit the blue one i love toys that are multi-functional so they can be used in a lot of ways and i especially love toys that grow with the child so yes you're making an investment into the toy but it's not just going to be for a month or two and then it's no longer useful but something that can really grow with the child as they get older and their skills are more refined then it can grow with them so first she was just hitting it and now she's using it for colors and pretty soon i'm pretty sure she'll be able to make some of the little songs as she gets older we also have a little guitar my husband and i we really wish we could play guitar we cannot 
and um, we have a bigger guitar that we wanted to use to learn how to play and we found that the kids were always into it so we got them a smaller one this is not tuned we cannot teach them how to play because we don't know how to play but they pick it up often they pretend to play they're very interested in it and they strum the strings and i'm pretty sure that if what i like about it, it is that it generates an interest so maybe it's something that they might later on say hey i want to learn how to play this which is fine with us but it keeps them occupied and it's also going to generate some interest in music which we are hoping for so those are the only two musical instruments that we have but musical instruments are a great gift idea it generates interest from music it can help foster a love for a skill that they can learn later on another gift idea is this this thing here it's for a younger age group however my daughter she's two years old she used it from the time she was about eight months and she's still using it now so it has four corresponding pegs it's has a spring on the end so it springs up if you touch it my youngest daughter for example she was she's practicing placing them in because that is challenging at the age that she is now my older daughter she when she was learning her colors we used them to identify some primary colors and she also used it to match the peg with the color at the front here and what she's learning to do now is to to get it to spring up because it's i mean it's very interesting the things that you know that just comes naturally to you the little kids they literally have to learn all of those basic skills that you never even thought twice of so just doing this for her is a skill that she's learning we've had this since she was eight months old and she's still using it and she still very much pulls it out Oh, we also use it for math as well for math it's very good to do one-to-one -one correspondence for them where they count but they have something specific to count it to so they're not just saying one two three four five six but they know this is one this means that there's two this means that there's three four etc so whenever we do counting for her we when we started because now she can do more than four but when we started this was very useful because it has four objects so she's counting to four and she has four objects to count so this is a very inexpensive lovely toy as well that can grow with them oh this is actually part of the box that i showed you earlier on this is another part of it it my daughter loves this she uses it well so this box even though it is far above their age I think that it can still come in handy at the age that they are now and it can also grow with them. Next we have a puzzle piece and one of the pieces that I like a lot are those puzzles. So these are wood. The puzzle pieces are also wood. This one for example is a car. My daughter enjoys doing those puzzles. She's done them a million times before but she keeps on doing them she really loves them so they're puzzles i have a car here a butterfly and a bumblebee or bee and this is probably something that i could definitely look into into getting more for her because she really enjoys those puzzles speaking of puzzles and my daughter really enjoys these puzzles so we have different animals we have a goldfish we have turtles elephants giraffes bears dogs cats there's a whole bunch of animals here and they all come in two pieces so when my daughter initially started using them she was able to find the two pieces that corresponded however she had difficulty placing them in and getting them together but with practice and with repetition now she's able to identify them as well as match them together so this is also inexpensive and it's a great toy i'm actually looking into getting because there are different sets so there are animal sets there are number sets so you will have some with a number one and then you'll have one object on this side there are some with colors so pink and then the something with the color pink they're very varied and i think they're very good way for the kids to have fun but as well as learning the process next i have some toys by kiwi and co now kiwi and co is a subscription company that i have used several times i don't 
to use it every single month so i'm constantly activating and deactivating my subscription usually i activate it when there's a sale where i can get it for maybe five dollars or ten dollars a month and basically kiwi and co is a STEMI related company that sends projects for your child that can enhance their learning in a particular area so they're each of the age groups have different names one of them i got was a panda crate and in the panda crate included this puzzle that both of my kids enjoy my older my oldest daughter is kind of phased out of this but my younger one is just learning to do the puzzles here she's still having difficulty but she still enjoys doing it with that same kiwiko subscription box i also got another box i can't remember the name now but it was for two year olds and it came with several different things which my daughter have been using and loving one of them is this fishing thing i don't know how to call it it came with a pad it came with felt turtles and fish and stars and it came with like a fishing hook and you place it on here and it picks it up so with that we've been able to do several activities for one when she just started she needed to learn how to control the little fishing hook so it was great for gross motor skills now we do some activities where i ask her to sort the, the little creatures so we either sort by size by color etc etc and this is just one of the activities that it came with and of course if you have your own felt products you can reuse this over and over again that same box also came with a set of geometric puzzles so we have a set of squares we have a set of triangles and we also have a set of circles of course one is missing and these have been really good to help her identify the three basic shapes the circle a square and a triangle we do puzzles with them there are various activities that you can do with these and when you get the box it usually includes a little pamphlet that includes various ways that you can use the toys and how you can use them to encourage um, growth in your child i really like this subscription box i think it is on the price range simply because you have to pay every month and you get a new box with new items so i don't use it every single month i activated reactivated and i'm always looking for a code if there is a code that can be used that has a discount off where i can get it maybe sometimes for five dollars or sometimes ten dollars but i really do feel like the stuff that's included in there is great one of the other things that it came with was cards so these cards are great they have the numbers on one side and they have something that's very tactile on the other side that relates to the number on the front which when you're teaching a child it's always good to involve their senses so whether that's the sense of touch or anything else it's good if that can be incorporated because it makes the learning experience more vivid and this just really helps her associate a number not just with being able to count but knowing that the number two corresponds to two objects you know basic for us but again it's something that they need to grasp so the panda crate the kiwi and co box the panda crate is great as well as the box for the two-year-olds those are the two that i've gotten that i've been really impressed with and i'm looking forward to getting some more boxes in the future so most of the toys that i get uh, like i said i try to get things that will work for my one-year-old but can also work for my two-year-old as well one of the things that surprised me a lot were these stackable cups so i thought that maybe when they were younger they would use it but um and get tired of them as she got older but actually the older she's gotten the more fascinated she's been of them because she actually enjoys building it up and then of course my younger daughter enjoys crashing it down but this is a very simple affordable toy that they use a lot sometimes we even bring it to the beach and they're able to use it to scoop up so i mean it does have some of them have holes at the bottom but that doesn't matter we use it at the beach and they're able to scoop up sand with it multi it's very useful and they enjoy this very stackable toy a lot so this is also a very lovely toy for a younger child maybe one year old if they're learning how to walk this is a pulley so as they pull the string the wheels turn around and it moves with them so it encourages them to walk but it can also be used when they're older as a shape sorter it has three shapes and they're able to sort and do the little puzzle by 
sorting the different shapes so again something that you can buy for them when they're about a year old but they can continue to use it even when they're two sometimes three years old another toy that we really enjoy is pegs and this is again another toy that can be used in varying ways so it helps a lot with fine motor skills as they are able to stack them one on top of the other however i find that it can also be used for counting it can also be used to help them learn their colors it can also be used to help sorting and it can also be used as an open-ended kind of play toy so they're stacking and they're imagining that they're building a big tower or whatever the case is but this is actually something that we have used a lot and my kids really 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 enjoy all right so next we have jenga now when my when i bought this toy it was originally just used for my husband and i when we had our game nights or when we invited other people over but it has become surprisingly something that my daughter uses all the time and she loves and they're just blocks so they function as blocks so it's kind of like a dual function so you can buy it for your husband and yourself you can have play dates with them but the kids love them so they build things with this all the time she stacks them up one by one she makes them tall she makes different types of shapes she plays with this for a very long time and it's very useful and of course my youngest daughter loves it also because she gets to break down whatever my oldest daughter builds up and a really good toy that can grow them through the ages because as they get older they can actually learn how to play jenga and it can also be a family game all right so next we have a toy for a younger child my one-year-old is currently using this you press the button it pops up and then you close it back down and repeat my daughter loves this um both of them actually right now this is a toy that i'm using to help them foster a relationship between the two of them so my youngest daughter can place it down but she cannot pop it up so i encourage my older daughter to pop it up for her and then my younger one presses it down this is also a very affordable toy that um it cannot really grow with them i don't think it really grows with them my oldest daughter doesn't really have interest in it unless the younger daughter is using it so they fight over this a little bit but it's one of those things that they use for a little while and then i think it's forgotten after a while so another thing that you can also get for your child which is a very educational gift that they would enjoy are figurines you know like those little figurines of animals pigs horses these are actually great especially when they're younger they learn to identify the animals you can use it to help them identify animals and the sounds that they make and as they get older you can also use them because what you can do for example is you could take a picture of the animal so this is a goat you can print the picture out on a flashcard laminate it and you could have the name of the animal next to it when the child is learning how to read so you can have sight cards with um with the picture of this with the name of the animal next to it they can learn to identify the animal match the picture with the actual figurine this is for when they're younger and then when they're older they can use the cards to learn how to read the names of the animal so this is a gift that is not usually thought of but animal figurines are an excellent toy it can also be used for pretend play my kids really love playing with this i hate it for example there's a cockroach sometimes i find this on the floor and it scares the heck out of me but other than that it's a really great toy and most of them are affordable as well another great gift idea are teddy bears and dolls we also have this baby here when my youngest daughter was a baby my oldest daughter loved this toy she used to pretend that this was her baby and she would pretend to feed the baby or change the baby's diaper and whatnot and whatnot and fun fact this teddy bear actually is as old as i am it was a gift from my dad to my mom when i was born i believe or before i was born and i've had this little teddy bear from this it's it's as old as i am
<laughs> another great toy is this puzzle piece here i don't know how exactly you call it but i must say it keeps my daughters entertained a lot and when i play with them quite frankly i think it's very entertaining as well i actually thrifted this at goodwill i believe so if you live in a place where you have good thrift stores wooden toys are great to get thrifted because wooden toys generally are a bit more on the expensive side but if you get them used usually they're in great condition can be easily sanitized and they're a lot cheaper so if you live in a place where you can get thrifted toys then i would say go to your goodwill go to a thrift store and look for lovely wooden toys i think this was thrifted and it was probably like two us or three us or something like that next up christmas time i love nativity sets because i really want my kids to grow up knowing that christmas is not just about gifts but there's actually a message behind christmas and i think that nativity sets are a great way to do that this was actually a gift but it is a very very short story written on wooden boards so it has the front and the back and then on the inside are you know little wooden figurines and you have mary you have joseph you have you know one or two animals and then you have baby jesus in the manger i think this is great we used it last year even though my daughter was very young but i feel like now she's going to be a lot more interactive and we can tell her about the jesus story and it won't be you know just a simple jesus story she has something that's going to encourage her imagination and i just really love this and i think i am going to look for something a bit more complex um to add to it because i think a nativity set is just great if you are looking to give a gift to a family i think this is a great idea because it's a story that the parents can read and enjoy for the kids so this could be like a one and all where you can give this as a gift to a family it's also in a nice cute little box so you could put it under the christmas tree or you can use it as a christmas decoration this is this is great this is really all great right. so another affordable gift that i really love is this felt set right here um we got this as a gift we have not used it as yet because i believe my kids are still too young for this but i am saving it because i really enjoy it and it's basically something that you can interchange numbers so you can take out the numbers you can take out the signs so for example if you want to teach them two plus i don't know three then they have the numbers here as well as the fingers look at this so you can use this to hold up the amount of fingers that correspond to the numbers so they can count it one two and use it to add i i just i love this toy my daughter can't use it just yet but when she is able to use it best believe that we are going to use it a ton so this is a great gift idea very affordable i will have it linked below in the description box so next we're going to move on to books i think books are a fantastic gift idea you can never go wrong with giving your child a gift in fact i always try to include a book in the gift that i'm giving so even if i give them a toy usually there is a book included with that toy the first set that we got that i have here is very well used and loved again guys my kids are very hard on the toys a lot of these are missing the covers but that just shows you how much they're well used and they're well loved these are a set called my first book of and it's a set it's a big set and they each have a category so this one for example is my first book of baby animals and it just has very realistic rich pictures that it's just one picture that corresponds to one animal and these have been great so let me tell you when i first got these i honestly was not very much impressed i was like what kind of book is this sorry to the person who gifted this but initially i thought what kind of book is this this only has one picture one little word like how am i supposed to read this but this is fantastic for improving vocabulary so my daughter loves these books i don't know what it is about it but she's always reaching for them if i say bella take a book so i can read to you she's going to go for one of these books and we just go through the books and we just name the 
pictures on there so we named the vegetables carrots and pumpkin and zucchini and some of these things she's never seen or does not see very often but because of the books she knows exactly what they are which i found was amazing i did not think that such a simple book would have such a huge impact on her vocabulary but they do so if your child is learning how to speak i would definitely recommend them they are a great buy they will not disappoint but they have to be used of course so read them read them read them the case that they came in is destroyed so i got this little case for them and it fits all of them in here they're very very well used very well loved and now my second daughter is coming up and she has been using them and she as well i don't know if it's the simplicity of the pictures or the fact that they're very realistic but this is well used and well loved like i was saying books you can never go wrong with books we have several different types of books we have this which is a little flap book which let me tell you is a hit so each of the page has a little flap that they have to turn and discover what's behind the flap again well used well loved but they really 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 enjoy this book they love flap books and they also enjoy the puppet books that we have so both my husband and i we speak spanish and we're trying to introduce spanish to them so the, we have some books that are in spanish as well um like this one but it has a little puppet at the front here and they really enjoy this book and they reach for it quite a lot so um flap books puppet books are great little educational books are great as well we have this one about planet it was thrifted i actually went to the state i wanted to go to a goodwill anytime i go to the state i make sure that i go to a goodwill because book and wooden toys are a great steal at thrift store so this book was 99 cents i probably got like 10 15 books and they were all 99 cents each for the book it was a great buy if you are in the states and you want to save money on books and toys then i would definitely recommend a goodwill or thrift store near you and also if you're a christian books are also a good way to introduce christian like stories and principles and values that you would want to introduce to your child so we have quite a few here we have this little first book of prayers we also have this little book here it's a puzzle book so the inside has puzzle pieces that um that they can put apart this is a puzzle book right here so this is really engaging too this is about noah's ark we also have my first little book of bible stories which i can't find and i recently ordered the jesus bible storybook which i've heard great things about i can't wait to get it i am torn between whether i'm going to save it as a christmas gift or whether i'm just gonna start using it as soon as i get it but that is also a really good book that i've heard good things about yeah so we love our books books are always 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 on the list of gifts and i would highly recommend reading is phenomenal for the kids you can also get them chapter books this was also a gift from a friend of mine which these are also gifts great gift ideas so if you have like a family friend that you want to give good books to and you're not exactly sure what they're into what the kids are into books are always a good idea especially if you know that parents enjoy reading to the children so this is a collection of nancy Drew books which my husband and i love and what we do is even though they're young we read a chapter sometimes after dinner or some anytime during the day we read one chapter of the book which usually is very short doesn't take us very much time the kids have no idea what's going on but we just want them to get into the habit of learning to read enjoying books and so it's something that we have started very early and hope to continue as they get older so chapter books even though your kids cannot read these are a great buy as well now let's move on to more bulkier purchases of course more expensive purchases as well but depending on the age of your child it could be an investment that goes for a while we have this here my daughters love this bag they use it in the house all the time sometimes we take them out to a park and we bring this along with them it is great i like the quality of it 
I think it is very good for when they're just starting out, but it's also good for when they're a bit older. Sometimes both of my kids use this. I have the older one sits here and sometimes the younger one sits in the basket on top of the basket, but they really enjoy this. If you're looking for something that they can use for a very long time, I would definitely recommend this lovely bike here. Next, we have this swivel bike. Guys, can you believe that everything is pink? If you know me, you know I love blue and I hate pink, but I don't know, for some reason, whenever I buy stuff for my kids, I just cannot get the blue. They look too masculine, so I always end up getting the pink one. But this is a... a I, I don't know exactly how you call it. It's not, it's a swing car. That's how it's called. It's a swing car. It's not a balanced bike. So basically they sit on the edge here and then they push their weight forward and the weight is what um, drives the car forward. It has light, I believe. The wheels have lights. My kids enjoy this as well. They're both able to use it at a time. So both of them sit here and they ride and they really enjoy this toy. These two toys, I see them having them for years to come and it's definitely worth the investment. So that's it. I hope you guys found some really good gift ideas so that you can give to your children at Christmas time. I don't know about you guys, but I love spoiling my kids with gifts. Once it's within the budget, of course, you have to be financially responsible. But I enjoy giving them gifts and I really, really am very picky about the toys that I buy. Like I said, I want to ensure that the gifts, even though they're being played with, they're still helping them develop, whether that be fine motor skills, gross motor skills, whether that be musical interest or reading and comprehension and vocabulary, whatever the case is, I wanted to be doing something. I like open play toys. Stay tuned for an upcoming video where I'm going probably later on in the coming week where i'm going to show you what i decided to get for my kids spoiler alert i'm really looking at magnetiles i've heard really great things and i'm looking forward to getting a few things to add to the collection as the time goes by thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it and if it was of any value hit the like button and if you're interested in seeing more videos from me then hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one bye